Good afternoon everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy And for today, huh, I will just gonna show you guys my new uh, OVD scanner This is Top Down uh, RT Diag Pro uh, It's a brand new one, I just bought it a uh, couple days ago And this cost me uh, around 640 Canadian dollar It's on sale right now it's a 15% uh, discount it has a 15% discount so I bought this um, OBD scanner because this is a bi-directional uh, OBD scanner so yeah we're gonna test it I wanna uh, test the bi-directional feature uh, of this uh, scanner uh, yeah let's open it and let's see how it looks like alright so let's open it It's uh, same like with my uh, lunch uh, crater. So let's turn it on. So that's the bottom. Actually, I already turned this on a couple of days ago. And look at that. Nice one. Top down. So this is RT uh, Diag Pro. Right there. So it's a bi-directional uh, scanner. That's the reason why I bought this, you know, this scanner. Because I've been longing for this uh, bi-directional uh, scanner. And for today, I will gonna try to activate the bi-directional, or I mean, like use the bi-directional feature of this uh, uh, scanner. By the way, this is not cordless, okay? We'll hook up the, the cord or the connection. For the OVD scanner so that's this is the one so let's hook it up there you go <laughs> that's it nice Okay. So actually I already updated this one a couple of days ago, okay? So don't worry about that update because it's always updating every time it sends, you know, a Wi-Fi connection. Okay, let's go to my Mitsubishi. My customer Mitsubishi car, not my Mitsubishi. My customer car. And let's try the bidirectional feature of this scanner. Okay, uh, we are here on this 2004 uh, Mitsubishi Endeavor. So we are going to uh, test the uh, bidirectional feature of this uh, scanner top down. So we are going to act, uh, actuate or uh, turn on uh, the radiator fan uh, for this uh, for this car. Because uh, I think I am having a, a customer uh, this uh, this coming days. Uh, he said uh, it seems like uh, his radiator fan is doesn't work so this is the perfect uh, you know opportunity or perfect time uh, to test this one let's see if, if it can uh, you know uh, control uh, the uh, radiator fan so that way we can uh, distinguish if the radiator fan motor is working or not by just using you know your scanner so basically we'll just go on here so that's diagnose so again it takes few minutes so I was just gonna pass pass uh, forward all right guys so we just fast uh, forward okay so we're just gonna do it manually so this is like the same with my launch crater so it's loading now so we went to this uh, diagnostic feature so we're just gonna uh, up 
to 2005 16 pin so in, see this guys we are going to system selection and then see this these are the module that you can activate so we are going to so radiator fan you know we're just gonna go on this one mpg mpi uh, gdi something sorry for the glare oh. so, so again we're just gonna activate so see that the activation test right there this is the activation test oh this is so we can act actually activate or control the injector per solenoid oh there you go the radiator fan low so again uh we're just gonna try this because in a couple of days we will be uh diagnosing a, a car uh, with a suspected uh, radiator fan that is failing so this is the perfect time to test this uh, scanner and test this uh, bi-directional so radiator fan low we're just gonna click it and I, w I will be showing you the radiator fan right here so radiator fan is not on you cannot hear anything so let's go here so let's activate or activate yes so perform I'm not gonna talk and you can listen the you can hear the radiator fan turning on okay perform So it will turn on for a few seconds. So it says completed. See that? So again, we'll do it again. Perform. It will. And it will shut off. There you go. So what that it says? So it says all your connection everything is good so the uh, radiator fan motor is working so again <laughs> you can check uh, if your uh, radiator fan motor is working or not by just using this you know uh, scanner by directional that's the reason why I bought this scanner just because of it will make your you know your diagnostic uh, faster again I will be having a customer on, on uh, this coming few days and he's saying that he had a car that uh, suspecting uh, uh, failing a radiator fan so perfect timing so and also there's a couple of hold on ex exit so you can see it in here not all of the you know all of the feature of the car can be activate, activate or controlled by this scanner so there's only like a couple like let's say an injector this is v6 so there's like six injector your fuel pump your ignition per solenoid a bent solenoid uh, per solenoid so those are the only uh, feature of this car that can that can act, activate or control by this scanner but again this is a very you know uh good scanner top down it's a cheap one but it can perform a lot of things so i guess uh that's it so if you had any question uh, about this uh video about this scanner uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you in my next video Bye bye